Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition Hacker's Memory, episode 59. We're nearing. <laughs> We're nearing the amount of episodes in the last LP, only 10 left. So let's see if we cross that number. Hmm. Well, let's just take the Gatamon shirt, why not? And we have one more quest of the normal variety? No, I think one more story quest remaining. Yeah, one, one required quest. Last time we went on a little mission with Date, and started a new quest line with some character named the Mysterious Digital Face. A bit late for that, but oh, oh well. But for now, we have the secret cafe menu. I wonder if you is part of this quest or if he's still recovering. By Savako Matsukawa. She says, I really want to sip the specialties from the secret menu at K Cafe in Nakano BW. Find out and report back to me. Oh, it's a gourmet quest. Huh. Haven't had one of those in a long time. Okay. She wants to sip the specialties and we have to try out. <laughs> You're kind of missing the point there, lady, but oh well. More for us, I guess. And Tarako says, I've never heard of a secret menu at K Cafe before. Nonamemon says... The clerk is adorable. Oh! K-Cafe owner got a fan! Nice. He's not a lost cause after all. Let's start investigating. My name is Sawako. I'm a huge coffee fan. You might even say I'm obsessed! I heard a rumor about premium coffee at a place called K Cafe on the fourth floor of a building in Nakano. I simply must try it. I'm always drinking the coffee at K Cafe. That stuff is like muddy water. Huh. Oh, okay. From the first game, I got the impression that K Cafe is at least somewhat good. I find it hard to believe they have coffee that could even be described as half-decent, let alone premium. Uh, just go and order it? I mean, some mistakes you have to make for yourself. Or maybe Keisuke just has poor taste. Just go and order it. If it were that simple, I wouldn't need to submit a case. It can't be ordered by ordinary customers. It's a top secret menu item. Top secret menu item? I've read about people going and ordering, but they were told there is no such thing. I guess it's only available to regular customers. And not just any old regulars. I think you have to go very often before they let you in on the secret. I go to K-Cafe a lot. Really? So you're a regular? That's right. He is. Like, he, he... It's at least implied that he goes there frequently with you. And for a long time as well. Yay! I'm glad I plucked up the courage to submit a case. This must be fate! In this case should be simple for you. Just go to K Cafe with me and order the top secret premium coffee. No sweat, right? I'll email time to meet up. See ya! Okay, great! I go to the cafe all the time, but I've never heard anything about secret coffee. The client is waiting outside K Cafe. Okay. To K Cafe we go? Away! Okay, here we are. Oh, there's even a cutscene trigger right here. I was kind of wanting to go to Metal Man first. Just to deposit what I have on me, but oh well. You're here. Thanks for coming. This is my first time in Nakano. It's an interesting place. 
So this is K-Cafe. I'm tingling with excitement. By the way, don't tell them we've only just met. We can't make them suspicious, okay? Then let's go in. Here we are. Hi there, Keisuke. What a surprise. You've brought a friend. Was that his voice? I think so. Hello, I'm Sawako. Keisuke told me lots of good things about this place. He's done a lot of for us. By the way, I'm not his friend. I'm his girlfriend. Wow, I never knew you had a girlfriend. Such a pretty one as that. That smells great. I love coffee. I'm glad to hear it. Seeing as she's your girlfriend, I'm guessing that makes her as good as a regular. Isn't that right, Keisuke? Keisuke seems uh, not too enthused. This place is so cool. What's that written on the wall over there? Oh, our regulars like to write personal messages on the wall. If I write something, will that make me a regular? She seems really into it. Can I borrow a pen? <laughs> I'll write your name and my name under an umbrella. Why not in a heart? Huh. I've never heard of an umbrella as some sort of symbol for couples. I don't think that's a good idea. It will be nice to commemorate the first time we came here together. Haha, <laughs> go ahead. To commemorate the first visit by Keisuke's special girl. Thank you. By the way, Keisuke, is there anything special you'd recommend? Do you want the usual gross coffee? I'm a regular here, right? You'd need to come a bit more often before I could consider you a regular. Don't beat around the bush. Just ask him about it. Huh? Top secret coffee? One that's not on the menu. Like premium coffee or something. Yes, there is a top secret coffee. Would you like to try it? Yes! I can't believe it was that easy. You really are a regular case gay. It's called Kopi Javak. The beans are fermented in the bodies of pregnant civets. Only enough for 18 cups per year is produced worldwide. Of which we have six cups. Okay. Two cups coming right up. Look, these are the beans. I need to roast them first. Please wait. Hang on. Isn't it really expensive? Like millions of yen per cup? No, it's on the house. Gasp? I don't want your money, but I have one condition. Like... Working here for free for the next 10 years? No, Sachan is already doing that. Oh no, she's not working for free, she's bleeding him dry. More like... Like only drinking here for the rest of my life? Come on, I'm not like that. It's not difficult. Just never tell anyone that you drank it. He's right. If word ever got out, coffee fanatics from all over the country would mop this place. I guess that's why it's top secret. It's ready. It looks like any other coffee, but wow. That aroma, the smell alone is making me dizzy. Here it goes. Wow! Wow! Gasp! <laughs> Has it been poisoned? It's spectacular! Gasp! It's the most amazing coffee I've ever had! Dot dot dot! I 
I've been searching for the best coffee in the world, and now I found it. It's so good, words can't describe it. It's it's mind blowing. Calm down. Try it for yourself. So. Woohoo! This is the best day of my life! I've got to take a picture and post it online! No, you can't! I'm afraid you can't do that! You promised you wouldn't tell anyone! That includes social media! It's almost at the perfect drinking temperature and savoring the aroma and the first mouthful! It's best to finish the rest in one go! I couldn't do that, but the little sips won't give me the full taste experience. What should I do? I'm still reeling from the first mouthful. I wonder what will happen to me if I drink some more. You're too great, Keisuke. Drink up! The flavor changes with every second that passes. The taste will be at its peak for the next five seconds. Then there's nothing else for it. Let's down it together. Oh my god! It's sensational! <laughs> she just fainted. Oh my god, but like, what What the heck? K Cafe owner is such a bro as always. He's the real MVP. He's just, like, apparently he's just letting us taste some legendary coffee right here just because, just because he's a bro. Yeah, I mean, nice. How nice of you, okay, Cafe Owner. I don't, I don't know what to say. First, I was, uh, first I thought it was just like he's conning her to think that it's really good coffee, but it's just normal coffee, and he's just saying that, and she's deluding herself into thinking it's really good. But apparently, apparently, it's amazing. So nice. Only three seconds left, Keishke. Are you going to drink it or not? I guess I have no choice. Gulp, gulp. Triple gas. That... that taste... It's like the aroma sapped my consciousness. Hang on... I know this place. Oh no! It was digital coffee all along! Dot dot dot. Gas. Why would coffee send me to cyberspace? Hmm... There's only one way to find answers. <laughs> Weird. I mean, we know that there is some sort of computer in the coffee shop's walls, but... That had to do with Peach, right? So... Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's take care of those messages. Oh, that is a question. Listen up. Who wrote the first detective story? The Murders in the Rue Morgue. It was, wasn't Arthur Conan Doyle. Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the Sherlock Holmes novels. Wait, but wasn't Agatha Christie after Arthur Conan Doyle? Because Edgar Allan Poe is is the is the poetry guy. But uh, I thought Arthur Conan Doyle was before Agatha Christie. But seriously, one of those wrote the first titled the first detective story. Like nobody ever got the idea before them. Okay, uh, then I guess Agatha Christie. This doesn't sound like like a. Uh, like a Sherlock novel. And we have something here as well, by Date. Lapmon, that's Antilamon now. Antilamon says he wants to play. Okay. Mm. What? Th that's great, but we have things to do? No, we are not saying that. I want to show you the best of Tokyo. Has nothing to do with the topic. And the three of us should, should search then. Should search what? Uh, 
I, I, I don't know, sometimes. Okay, here we are. Let's continue. I see a sparkly over there, but we should... Well, why am I lagging so hard? Should probably go over here first. Nothing here. And let's accelerate and cash in on those sparkles and treasure chests. Yammamon metal. Okay, don't know why I was lagging so hard, but <laughs> I hope it settled down. I probably lagged for like a good 15 seconds before entering that encounter. Okay, who's here? This is the boss, so... Anything here, or did I come from here? I came from here, right? No, I did not. But there's nothing here. Okay. In that case, let's head inwards to this dude here. I think he was a virus? So... Let's change up our lineup, organize Lucimon for you, and yeah, like this. Oh, more Digilines again. The answer is Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, so Poe was the one who wrote the first detective story in history. You learn something new every day, I guess. Now, you're not asleep. Question mark? Sorry, but this won't hurt. I just need you to sleep. Dot dot dot. So the coffee was poisoned after all? After all the praise I heaped on K-Cafe Ona? Oh well. Please delete yourself. Oh, apparently it's chonky. Mm hmm Holy light. But not chunky enough. Ouch! Huh, okay. Then let's look and see. Where do we have them? Okay, like this, and then all foes know one foe. Yeah, Mega Gargamon is kind of weak, and I don't know why. Is he doing that every every round? Oh no. Please don't tell me this is another disgusting <laughs> status boss that I can't do anything against. Okay, at least a crescent leaf and not immediately the same stuff again. Mm. Yeah, stop it. We lost two. Then another holy light. Another Starlight Velocity. Uh, but apparently I get at least some turns in which I can act, so even if he does it continuously, it won't be too much of a problem, I think. Yep, there it is again. But Mega Gargamon resisted everything, that is good. On the other hand, I'm burning through my multi-recovery DXs, but... Oh well, what can you do? Just imagine if I had gone into this encounter with my prior team. I probably would have already been annihilated. Ooh. 
great. And either this or the next attack should be it. The next attack it is. So, Mega Gargamon, you have the honors. Down it goes. Oh, a memory up DX. At least we're eating good tonight. And we desperately need one as well. Sorry, KC. Gasp. I didn't want things to get violent. And Mushroomon didn't mean any harm. Please forgive us. What's going on? There's something special about you. I guess I'd better explain. First, let me say I do don't intend to hurt you. I have my reasons for all this. Everyone who drinks Kopi Jawak gets brought here straight afterwards. The shock makes ordinary people lose consciousness, but not you. I forgot you're a gifted hacker. So, so it actually was that premium super duper coffee. Okay. I brought you to cyberspace to extract your memories. I used Mushroomon's power to take the experience of drinking Kopi Jawak from your mind. Why? This should be the first time you've ever experienced the thrill of Kopi Jawak. This is where I take that memory from you. Why again? I mean, I could understand if you wanted to take the memory of going to cyberspace from the drinker because they would be like WTF what is, what is going on here why did the, that pleasurable coffee experience make me go to a different world but the coffee experience itself why would you do that I know what you want to ask why let people drink Kopi Jawak if I'm just going to steal their memory of it that's what you're thinking isn't it well, uh, yeah pretty much spot on the answer is simple. I want people to be able to experience the incredible taste and sensation. But there's a problem. Kopi Jawak is extremely expensive at 10 million yen a cup. Gasp. It doesn't seem fair that only the super rich will get, ever get to try it. I was desperate to find a solution. As a last resort, I came up with the idea of shelling the memory of drinking Kopi Jawak to wealthy elderly people. They're the ones who could afford to buy it, despite the hefty price, but they can't drink coffee because of their poor health. But when you know you can't have something, it just makes you want it even more. I suppose that's the nature of desire. So we didn't actually drink the coffee, we just drank the regular old brew, but... He implanted the memory into us via our digivices? Is that what I'm getting from this? So I implant the pleasure of drinking this amazing coffee directly into the brain. Yeah, okay. But I don't think young people should miss out on the chance to experience the thrill of drinking the world's best coffee. I still don't see why he would delete the memory of it. Wasn't that the point? Yeah, but why erase the memory? That's just the type of question I'd expect an outstanding hacker like you to ask. You have to consider the type of wealthy people who buy the memory of drinking Kopi Jawak. They want that amazing experience all to themselves. They want to feel that they are the only ones to taste it. If anyone could do it, it would be worthless. Dot dot dot. There's another reason I erased the memory of people who've drunk it, but it's not as important as that one. Once a person has tasted Kopi Jawak, the desire to drink it again becomes all-consuming. I've experienced it firsthand, that's why it's essential to erase the memory. Do you think it's pointless that I want people to taste it, but then forced to erase all memory of the experience? I certainly do, ha ha ha. Yeah, I do too. I think the entire endeavor is 
completely and 100% pointless. Like, it goes into the whole personality and ex existentialism questions, right? What even are we? And I always like to answer that by going the whole ship of Theseus paradox route, right? You have a ship, like a story ship of, of a Greek hero, and it's put into a museum for his heroic deeds. And over the years, you have to repair the ship, because it, it's simply gotten too old. It's a wooden ship, right? So you have to, like, swap out a plank or something. Like, do let professional restorators do it. Whatever. But over the years, over the years, you have to replace every single part of the ship. Like, a thousand years down the line. So, is it at that point still the same ship that you originally put into the museum? And I always like to answer that question by saying, yes it is. Because what matters is the continuity of memory. That's what really forms the personality of a person or object. And like the same applies to us. Not a single cell in your body currently is the same as when you were born. Not a single one. So can you really say you are the same person that experienced those things in like kindergarten or that like your mother gave birth to? Are you still the same person if not a single cell in your body is what it was at that point? Yeah, and the answer is clearly continuity of memory and deleting that experience from the person makes the original experience completely invalid in my opinion and that's why I think uh, diseases like Alzheimer's and stuff are really existential horrors that I don't wish upon anybody yeah okay <laughs> that that was a tangent and KCafe owner seems to be more mysterious than we had previously anticipated dot 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 I hope you understand the situation KSK I do this so everyone has the chance to try coffee that would usually cost 10 million yen a cup. Dot dot dot. No, uh, don't nod. Uh, I still don't agree. Thank you. So please, allow me to proceed. I'll only erase a small portion of your memory. It's completely safe and you won't feel a thing. You want to know about your girl? Well... It's not good news. Dot dot dot. Question mark. I planned to extract her memory while you were fighting Mushroomon, but she wouldn't let me get near her. Sorry about that. I'd never usually do such a thing, but I had no choice but to take extra steps. What do you mean by extra steps? Sorry, I didn't get to explain that very well. To be specific, I had to extract a little more of her memory than I usually would. Which means we won't get paid? There's no need to worry. It won't affect her everyday life. We're sorry, but as he said, she's fine. She'll only experience that amazing sensation once. I've already sold the memory. If I'd left her with that memory, She'd be overcome by the desire to drink Kopi Jarok again. That wouldn't be good for her. We'd better get back to the cafe. I'll extract the Kopi Jarok experience from your memory. You won't just forget the taste. You'll go back to being who you were before you've ever heard Kopi ja of Kopi Jarok and K-Cafe's secret. Are you ready? One more thing. I'll also erase your memory of the fact that I'm a hacker who knows of the Digimon's existence. Why? I just want to continue my quiet life as the K-Cafe owner. I love that cafe. I hope you do too. Sorry, but this won't hurt. A white light is filling my head. I'm so tired. Thank you.
Question mark? Are you okay, KSK? Question mark, question mark? You're your half asleep. I feel like I have the strangest dream. You must be tired. Been burning your midnight oil. Dot dot dot. What's that scribbled on the wall? It's a big umbrella with my name under it. But whose name is that next to it? Sawako? Haha, <laughs> it's your name. One of your friends must have drawn that as a joke. They must be making fun of the fact that you'll never get a girlfriend. Oof! Get the heavy ordnance out here. <laughs> oh no. Who's Sawako? No idea. Is there a famous person with that name who you've got a crush on? It must be someone's idea of a joke. Shall I, shall I get rid of it? Why am I sitting at a table for two? I thought that was unusual as well. You usually only sit there when you come with someone else. Or maybe you arranged to meet with someone? I think you need some caffeine to clear your head. Here's your usual. Yuck. Gross as always. But the taste is also kind of reassuring. Hey, I can see what you're thinking. You don't have to order it if you don't like it. I'd be hurt though. Hold on a sec. Oh, hello there. I've never seen you here before. Yeah, it's my first time. I suddenly felt really tired, so I thought I'd stop by for a little break. Shit any way you like. What can I get you? I recommend the coffee, even though it's gross. It's gross, but you recommend it? Why? You're talking nonsense, Keisuke. She's confused now. Good. Sorry, but I've never really liked coffee. Can I have an orange juice? Oh no! Mushroom Bond deleted more than we thought! Coming right up! But it's a shame that you don't like coffee. A real shame. Oh boy! Oh, that was a doozy. Okay. With that, I'll probably end part one right here. Yeah, next time we'll see what the main story has in store for us, or maybe we'll have to go to Mireille again. See her in part two. Until then, I guess.